In my last video about pirates, we discovered these bad boys float. Only sideways. And while we paid our respects to the brave sailors who lost their lives in the Bermuda bathtub, a few of you sea dogs mentioned how amazing a certain vessel is. I'm guessing you chose this one because you like to see old Robrick sleeping on the couch, or if my wife's watching this video. Can you believe how cheap I got this one? So whip out your cutlass, load your flintlock pistol, put on your finest peg leg, and hide that booty as we take a closer look at this relic from the past. And yes, I am going to chuck it in the tub again. Set 6286, Skull's Eye Schooner. Released in 1993 and holding the title of highest part count of all sets under the pirate's umbrella by a whopping... Three, it features nine sea-hardened sailors. The pirate theme isn't known for having that many unique figures, so you'll probably recognize most of these from my last venture. We got the half-blind brothers again, a well-dressed individual who's worth more than you'd think, the tank top terrors, only this time we have a new color scheme, making sure it's not a complete sausage party, we have a fierce pirate woman. Back in the day, sailors believed bringing a woman on board would anger the water gods, which I guess we'll get to see later on today. And finally, we have the cat of the crew. It's the exact same guy we see all the time. Don't worry, Captain. I'm sure you'll float this time. At first, I was skeptical about this water taxi. From the outside, it looks like your standard pirate ship equipped with everything you need for stealing. But as I started to build the ship's play features, I realized... Oh yeah, it's bussin'. We'll start up here on the Lego Town Deck, also known as the Poop Deck. If we look beyond the beautiful blend of colours in this weird mailbox containing only the most valuable treasure, we'll see a working compass mounted on a half-hidden ship wheel. Turn this bad boy and you'll notice the rudder moves with it. It's attached to something I sadly can't relate to, that being a large rod, which is able to hit the extended sides of the rudder that's under the captain's quarters. Speaking of captain's quarters, no kismo, this is probably the worst one yet. We have one A blue table with no seats for bending over your mup, and nothing else really. Similar to the Black Pearl, we have no main deck. It just goes straight to the bottom level, but for once, I'm actually not going to complain. See, I'm a simple man. If I have four openings on either side of the ship, I expect to have a dedicated cannon for each window. But LEGO decided that costs money, and they can't be having that anymore. But since this was made back in the good old days, they came up with an ingenious idea. Put in only four cannons, but have them running on a slot so they can be shifted to either side. I can 100% confirm whoever designed this ship truly possesses enough IQ to understand Rick and Morty. Sticking with the classic pirate theme of having hatches at the front, this one is no exception. And oh boy, lots of, uh, lots of cool things down there. Thank Neptune this got added. The anchor is similar to the recent 3-in-1 pirate ship you may remember from such places as my bathtub, but this time it's on a string rather than a Lego chain. You have a winch over here and a neat little locking system. Even the hook has been improved, being attached to a winch as well so you can properly control the height. The figurehead puts a bit of chest hair on this ship being a scary pirate but let's see how she fares on open water. And by open water I mean my bathroom. I've recently reinstalled League of Legends so I've not actually been in here for a while but so far this acrylic beast has claimed three maidens of the sea and countless sailors lives. But I've got a good feeling about this one fellas. Don't forget to subscribe, we recently hit 9k, which is insane. I'm starting work on a 10k subscriber special video, so if you have any questions you want answering live at the end, then drop them in the comments. I know it's been back-to-back -back pirate videos, which wasn't my intention, but I'm still waiting on a part after almost two weeks now. Thanks, eBay. But I'll potentially be seeing you next Wednesday if the part arrives, or Sunday if it doesn't. But take care, fellas.